Now finally, on a somewhat related note, while the people of Israel prepare for Holocaust Remembrance Day, the Anti-Defamation League in the United States has just released its annual report on all the extremist anti-Semitic attacks of 2018. And the results were not pretty. Though after the recent shooting in Poe, California, it may not be too surprising to find that practically all violent attacks against Jews this past year were committed by identifiably extreme right-leaning white supremacists. Additionally, counting a whopping 1,879 reported incidents, this was the third highest level of anti-Semitism recorded ever since the ADL started its annual audit in the 1970s. Thankfully though, with all that said, overall the number of incidents in America did come down from last year. But still, 2018 was marked by some of the deadliest attacks on Jews in America in decades, with at least 59 people victimized by violent anti-Semitic assaults, nearly triple the number from the year prior. This, including the 11 people who were tragically murdered at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh last October, the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history. And further, with the Poe shooting last weekend, followed by another Chabad rabbi being verbally and nearly physically assaulted in New York on Tuesday, 2019 isn't shaping up to be much better. In fact, the assault in New York was only diverted at the last second by the synagogue's security guard. So who's perpetrating these attacks? Well, the ADL identified a few trends. First and foremost, white nationalists and other extremists accounted for roughly 13% of the overall incidents reported. The remainder of the attacks, however, were caused by an increase in what can be referred to as casual anti-Semitism and harassment, which comes from people of all backgrounds. In fact, K-12 schools and universities were the biggest magnets for harassment, assaults, and intimidation, with synagogues and other Jewish institutions drawing the next largest number of incidents. So as CEO of the ADL Jonathan Greenblatt explains, it's clear that we must remain vigilant in working to counter the threat of violent anti-Semitism, and to denounce it in all forms. Because as Yom HaShoah serves to remind us, there's a clear path that this leads towards.